Hi guys, Kayong here. Uh, moving forward from today, right? Um, I'll do my best to be releasing such videos. Uh, mainly is to share with you what is the economic news that you need to focus for today and some of the potential setups that I'm looking out uh, intraday wise. All right, so it's more towards uh, specifically for the day itself uh, and during the US and the UK session. All right, so those are the timing that I'm usually trading on the intraday time frame. All right, so for today. Friday um, morning, all right. There are some news that's being released, uh, mainly on the Japan side as well as uh the China Chaisin manufacturing PMI. But moving forward into the European, UK as well as the uh US trading session, what we have over here for today is the German retail sales, all right. Um, this might give us some uh, movement in the market. The expectation is of course worse off than last previous data. Right, so uh, the actual data is pretty important as to whether is it going to be the estimates or is it going to fall uh, below the estimates itself. Right, uh, moving forward, of course, on uh, at 5 p.m. Singapore time, we do have the Euro CPI flash estimates together with the core CPI. These two data will be important for the Euro simply because this is uh, inflation data that the, the ECB is also tracking on. Right, the expectation is that these two data will be coming in better than the previous data. So uh, we'll, we'll have to keep an outlook into um, what's the actual data that's going to be released. Right, uh, and of course in the US session, we have a very important uh, two piece of data, mainly the core PCE price index as well as the personal spending. All right, the core PCE PCE price index, if you read into it, is actually a very important piece of data for the Fed because they do look at this uh, in terms of tracking the inflation target. All right, so uh, previous data was at 0 0.1, expected to come in better, uh, slightly better at 0 0.2. So the actual data, if it comes in way better than 0 0.2, we might see strength in the dollar itself. But of course, if it comes in less than 0 0.2, we might see some sell-off in the US dollar. All right, so these are some of the key news to keep an eye on for today itself. Let's go over to the chart to show you some of the potential key levels that I am monitoring. All right, the first one is Euro Dollar. Uh, I have two key levels that I'm looking out for. One is at the zero point, oh, sorry, one point one two six five region. All right, uh, I'm looking for a potential sell opportunity should price comes up to this level, All right around one point one two six five. 1.1265, 1.1267. Uh, if price drop lower, all right, um, towards the 1.1140 level, that will be an area that I'm looking for a buy opportunity. All right, so for euro dollar, I'm looking for two ways. Uh, one, if price goes higher, I'll be looking for a short opportunity up there, and if price fall lower, I'm looking for a long opportunity. Pound dollar, all right. Uh, what we see over here is price recently broke uh, this short term uptrend line. So, uh, what I'm looking for is if price retraces back to the 61.8 Fibonacci level, that will be at 1.3015. All right, so should price comes around this region uh, in confluence with the previous uptrend line, I'll be looking for a short opportunity. Right, so for this particular pair itself, the pound dollar, I'm only looking to short it because uh, according to my rule, there is no level to, to look for a buy opportunity. All right, so that's for pound dollar. For dollar yen, all right, uh, what we see is this rally was due to the weakness in, in the in the yen data. Uh, but overall, there's still, there's still much bearish momentum on, on, on yen pairs itself. Alright, so what I'm looking for is over here at the close to the 100 psychological level, right? Uh, 100.30. That will be the area that I'm looking for a potential buy opportunity. So if price drop further towards 100.30, that will be the area that I'll be looking out for uh, in terms of today. Alright, uh, let's look at Aussie, very similar to pound dollar. Recent uptrend line price has broken and closed below it. So should it retrace back towards the 61.8 Fibonacci level, which is around the 0 0.7670? I'll be looking for a short opportunity for the day itself. Kiwi dollar, uh, highly unlikely that's going to happen, right? Because uh, it needs to move close to 100 pips above it. Right, but the level that I'm looking out uh, for a short opportunity will be around the 73.60. Alright, so this might happen should uh the dollar the dollar data come in very negative. All right, uh, it might push Kiwi dollar upwards, and I'll be looking for a short opportunity should price comes around this area. 
Dollar cat, um, very similar to pound dollar as well as Aussie dollar price has broken below the recent trend line. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm waiting for price to retrace back to 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. You can see that the recent price was in that zone and we see some rejection of it. All right. Uh, but that during that particular time when price retraced towards this level, uh, it's not within my trading session. Uh, mainly the UK as well as the US, so uh, I won't be taking any trades out of those trading sessions, right? Similarly, if price rally back up now, right now, uh, before the UK session has opened, uh, I will not be taking the trade, right? So simply, I will only take a trade if it falls within the particular trading session that I'm trading on. Right, so I'm still waiting for this price to, to see if it can retest this 61.8 Fibonacci retracement zone. Uh, and I'll be looking for a short opportunity on this. Right, but of course, because these are dollar pairs, uh, I'll be looking out for the data that's coming in at 8.30 later on today. All right, uh, Euro pound very similar to dollar cat. Uh, we have this 61.8 retracement uh, price has been tested, but it's out of my trading session. The next upper level that I'm looking out for is around 0 0.87. All right, it's an even handle. Uh, it's an even number, right? With a Fibonacci, sorry, Fibonacci confluence as well as previous high. All right, so uh, this will be a higher probability level to keep an eye for a short opportunity. Euro yen, uh, very similar to dollar yen. I'm looking for buy opportunity. Should price fall lower towards the 88.6, it's around 112.45. Right, if price comes down, I'll be looking for a long opportunity around that key area. Yen, uh, pound yen, all right, very similar. All the yen pairs are having a similar kind of setup. All right, I'll be looking to long this around the 130.2. Right, so just a quick reminder if you're trading so many yen pairs, do ensure that you're not overly exposed on yen. All right, so uh, if you are trading on dollar yen, euro yen, pound yen, either you drop your trading size smaller or you just pick up the best one uh, based on price action itself. Right, Aussie Canadian, very similar. Um, price broke the uptrend line. I'm looking for a retracement back to 61.8 Fibonacci. That will be around 1.01 uh, level. All right, for a short opportunity, we do see some form of divergence at the top of this as well. Right, so it's pretty high probability setup. Um, the next one will be uh, Euro Aussie. Right, we, we had a downtrend, uh, it forms a double bottom with some form of divergence in RSI and price rallied after that. So what I'm looking for is this might be establishing a new uptrend. So I'm waiting for price to retrace back to the 61.8 around the 1.46 trendy level to look for a long opportunity for the day itself. Euro cat very similar to Euro odd, all right? Uh, it's a downtrend and previously a very short downtrend we form a double bottom RSI divergence. Price broke a new high, all right? I'm looking for perhaps price is starting to rotate towards a new uptrend. I'm looking for price to retrace to the 61.8 around the 1.4685 area for a long opportunity for this day itself, all right? Uh, for Kiwi Canadian, let me just put in my fib. All right, I'll be looking for uh, opportunity around the zero point, sorry, this one is at 0 0.9660, right, for a short opportunity. But again, this is very similar to uh, Kiwi dollar, right? That's about 100 pips away. Unlikely that price is going to reach that high for the day itself, right? But just to, to have it in my watch list for the day itself. Right. For gold, all right, uh, commodities itself, price has been previously in an uptrend. Right now, it has rotated towards a new downtrend. I'm looking for price to make a retracement back towards the 1333 level. All right, uh, if you look in look left, all right, you have some previous support now turn resistance with a FIP confluence at 61.8. That's where I'm going to look for a short opportunity. Oil, nothing much. Uh, and German DAX, nothing much as well. The S&P, very similar kind of setup. All right, we have a previous uptrend price has broke below it. I'm looking for a retracement back towards the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Some minor structural area in the past. All right, that's around 2155 area. All right, this is where I'm going to look for a short opportunity. 
Alright, so that's it for today. Um, a lot of key levels in my watch list to watch it for. Just some key reminder that today is Friday. Market might not be very volatile. You might not get a lot of liquidity in the market. So treat according to your plan and always manage your risk. And I'll talk to you next week itself.